Johnny Davis, the 10th pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, was considered by many to be last season's worst rookie. As a mid-lottery pick, Davis only played 28 games and averaged less than 6 points on horrible efficiency. He was pretty bad, yes, but a lot of people have no idea why he actually struggled. Many just saw he was the 10th pick and had poor stats and assumed he was just garbage. But there were many reasons for why he played how he did. And the truth is, he's better than those stats suggest, and he's better than you think. How's it going, my friend? I'm Alexander from Load Management Media, and let's talk about it. Looking at it from face value, there are not many lottery picks in the last 10 years that had a worse rookie season than Johnny Davis. Before the draft, a lot of people looked at Johnny Davis as a quite safe pick. A big guard with decent athleticism, could do a bit of everything, it seemed no matter where he would end up, he would fit. But in his first year, he looked nothing like himself. In the Big Ten at Wisconsin, Davis was a confident, strong, athletic player with a nice jump shot. In Washington, all of that evaporated. On a Wizards team that was stuck in a half rebuild, Davis managed only 28 games all season, where he averaged 6 points and 2 rebounds on 39% from the field and 24% from 3. Wow! Honestly, Davis didn't really get a ton of opportunity early because he was that unready to come into the league. Like 90% of his games played came in the last month of the season once the team figured out it wasn't getting remotely near the playoffs. A lot of Johnny's time in his rookie year was spent in the G League with the Capital City Go-Go, but even there his numbers did not stand out at all and neither did he. Between the G League Showcase Tournament and regular season, Davis averaged an average 12 points a game on slightly better shooting splits from the field, but nothing to write home about. So Davis for the majority of the season had no NBA action and played mediocre in the G League. But in the last month of the season, he showed that even though pretty much all of his year was really bad, there was a reason why he was selected 10th overall in the first place. In the month of April, in 5 games, Davis averaged 17 points, 6 rebounds, and 4 assists. He's alive! In those 5 games, Johnny looked a lot more confident and comfortable. Although his field goal percentage was still pretty porous, it was still improvement. I think he played better because, I mean, it's the end of the season, Weight lifted off your shoulders, I can't get much worse, I might as well go out there and hoop. So it's pretty clear Johnny Davis had a bad rookie year. Not the worst rookie overall, but considering the draft selection, maybe the worst rookie overall. But why did this happen to him? A big reason why Johnny struggled so much to start his rookie year was because, like a week before training camp, he had a kid. On September 22nd, Davis and his girlfriend welcomed their first child, which is obviously a big deal. I ain't had no kid before, but I imagine it's pretty tough, especially at 20 years old, coming into a new experience like the NBA I can't imagine. In training camp this year, Davis talked about how that was a big burden on his shoulders last year, and well, now it's slightly off his shoulders because he knows the ropes. The travel and being away from his kid and his girl, that took a long time to get used to. Alongside being away from his girl and his kid at large stretches, he was also away from his family for the first time in his life really moving to DC. Johnny grew up in Wisconsin and played high school and college there, so he really never had to adjust as much to life away. Johnny's really close to his family and siblings, especially his twin brother Jordan, who he played college ball at Wisconsin with, so it was definitely tough to make the adjustment. Johnny also wasn't a breakout freshman in college either. He averaged a modest 8 points before exploding as Big Ten Player of the Year as a sophomore. So it takes him a little bit of time. Basketball-wise, I think he just lost a lot of confidence and that made him look way worse than he actually is. He looked less athletic and bursty than he did in college, but I think that's a product of his confidence and probably all the other things on his mind. It's understandable. His three-point shooting wasn't great in college, but at least he showed the form and touch to hit shots, so that should be something that should come. So all things considered, Johnny had a lot on his plate in his rookie year. But there are some encouraging signs that this year he's going to be a lot better. As I mentioned, Davis has shown he usually takes a year to adjust. So now he knows what a year in the NBA is like with all the things that come along with it. I think he'll do a lot better and it seems like he thinks he will as well. 
It looks like Johnny also put in a lot of work this offseason as well, and he didn't skip anything. He worked on every aspect of his game. Anything in particular that you really try to improve this offseason? Uh, everything. You know, uh, starting in the weight room, on the court, shooting, dribbling, uh, passing, defending, just every aspect of the game. Men said he could be better at pretty much everything, and I'd have to agree with him. The Wizards are also committing to more of a true rebuild now with Beal and Porzingis gone, so Johnny will surely get more opportunity earlier on this year. The Wizards also wiped out a ton of their front office as well with some new guys, so this means that Johnny's going to have a fresh start to show a new set of people what he's got. In two preseason games, he's looked pretty solid. Seems like he knows how to fit in more in an NBA scheme, and he's been registering a lot more minutes, so Coach Wes Unsell Jr. and the front office are definitely trying to see what they can expect out of him this year. The only worrying thing is, because of last year's shooting struggles, it looked like they might have tweaked his jumper when he shoots his three ball, and it looks a little bit sus. But hopefully he can figure it out and he starts knocking him down. Johnny is a hard worker and a former college stud. And although he did have a pretty poor rookie year, there's definitely some encouraging signs that he can live up to his draft stock at some point. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Over here at Load Management Media, I talk about some of the most interesting stories of young players around the NBA. So if that interests you, consider hitting a like and a sub. And as always, stay rested. See you in the next one.